You see that there's a special announcement that's listed in, uh, in your bulletin and that sometimes makes folks a little, a little uneasy when they see something like that because the music director is talking and it only means one of two things. He's going to ask me for money or he's leaving. Well, I'm not leaving. So... <laughs> But I wanted to share very quickly with you about uh, something that you're going to see a lot about in the next uh, couple of weeks, months, uh, as we move through the end of 2023 and moving into 2024. Um, in, in April, um, I, uh, I presented to session uh, an idea um, that I have that I, that I am calling the Irvington Arts Collective at Irvington Presbyterian Church. One of the things that uh, we know from the mission study that has been done as we are, as we are seeking our senior pastor, uh, from the conversations that we've had with you, the members of this congregation, from the conversations that we've had with folk outside this congregation but are still members of this community, is that the arts are very important to us. When I say us, I mean the arts are important to us here at IPC, and the arts are important to us, those of us who are here who make up this, com this community called Irvington. And I would even argue that the arts are important to the east side. And so what I sought to do was to create a way that, uh, that we could perhaps use our space. We have many spaces in this building that go unused for most of the week. And so I thought, well, what if we were able to think think smartly about using our spaces such that we could invite folk in, folk meaning you, members, stakeholders here in this congregation, in this community of faith, but also folks outside of these walls that maybe are hesitant to return to church, or maybe have never been to church in their lives, or maybe church is a bad word for them. Is there a way that we can take that stigma away? And I'm biased here, but I really think art and arts are the way that we can make that happen. So Craig, if we'll advance to the next slide, the Irvington Arts Collective, and I, I have to first stop and say many, many thanks to Liz Kesnack Hall and all she has done in her help uh, with this idea. Um, I tend to be a really big ideas person, and then I need a real adult who can bring them all together in the, in the real world. Of, that's why I have Kevin. He's the adult. And Liz here has been, has been the adult, and I, and I am so very thankful. For, for your help, Liz. Um, so the Irvington Arts Collective is going to be based on four pillars. Um, and you see our logo here. Our logo is the four pillars that make the eye of the Arts Collective. And the first of those pillars, we are a community of faith. And it is important to me that this collective reflect that we are a community of faith and the importance that that holds within our community here at IPC. So one of the things that we are looking at starting uh, this fall is a contemplative meditation service. Um, if those two words together you've never thought about as when it comes to worship, um, I look forward to, to helping you experience that. This would be a once a month service that allows you to come in and basically just breathe. It allows you to come in and experience this space. It allows you to come in and experience music that is both old and new to you. It allows you to come in and perhaps receive words that you didn't know you needed. It allows you to come into this space and to pray, to meditate, and sometimes we just need to sit. And that's what that service uh, will do. That service is lay-led, lots and lots of music. One of the things that it also allows us to do is called on some aspects of the other three pillars to involve folk in that service. Uh, we have uh, the idea of being able to bring in student musicians, bring in those of you who are, are musicians here in this congregation to be a part of that experience and that service. We also hope to make it a welcoming space and environment such that Sunday morning may be a little bit intimidating to your neighbor for whatever reason. What we want to do is to create a space where perhaps we can take away some of that intimidation for your neighbor. Your neighbor might join you and say, wait, this is so different than what I remember church being. And then perhaps Sunday won't feel so intimidating. But the idea here is to offer this space to all, not just these four walls, but to all of this, all of us on the east side and in this community. The second thing, uh, the second pillar is the Irvington Community Choir. There is no SATB choir here on the, on the east side. Um, 
And there is no choir here in Indianapolis that is specifically focused on social and environmental justice. So the Irvington Community Choir will be part of what's called the Justice Choir Network. This was founded in, in Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota, St. Paul, um, and the, the Justice Choir uh, Network works very similar to church congregations. There is a, a quote hymnal, they call it a songbook that, that, that ties these choirs together. Um, and the focus is not only creating community, but creating community around issues of social justice and environmental justice. And so that's the second of, of four pillars. Um, and then I really wanted to figure out a way that we could use this space that often sits empty. Um, and we have so many great artists and art teachers, musicians in, uh, in our area, in our congregation. We're going to begin offering our spaces uh, to those who teach. Uh, we're calling that the studios at IPC, um, and that is where we simply allow those who teach to come in and do their thing. Jan Schreiben, we all know, is a fabulous flute player. So we are gonna give Jan that space, if she would like it, to come in and teach flute, either to our members or members of the community who may be interested. I know many of you have talents uh, that you may be willing to teach. Now the one thing we're gonna do at these studios is not simply focus on music, but also look at art and arts. And so we are hoping to bring in those who teach painting, drawing, those sorts of things, uh, to be a part of these, of these studios. And then finally you see that we have the gallery at IPC, we're working on creating a gallery space, an inviting space that the community can come in into that we can display and focus on the art and the creative activities that go on here at IPC and that go on outside our walls here on the east side, specifically in Irvington. So uh, the first thing I want you to know about this project is this is a part of IPC. This project does not live away from IPC. This is the Irvington Arts Collective at Irvington Presbyterian Church. So that's the first and number one thing that, that uh, is important to know, is that this project lives here and is housed here with us. Craig, we can look at the next slide. This sounds cool, Webb, but how do we pay for it? Here's where I ask you for money. <laughs> So, um, I want to I want to talk about a couple of things. Uh, we are in the process. Uh, we have we have applied for a grant, a substantial grant, through the Allen Whitehill Clues Foundation. Um, we will not know about that grant until uh, October or November. But I can tell you that our letter of intent was moved forward by the granting institution, which means they they looked at the, our ideas and said that sounds cool. We'll consider you for some money. Um, and for the clues Foundation to um, to consider us to consider giving us money, we have to be willing to support this on our own in in various sundry ways. The uh, the university. Oh, nope, nope, I'm at church. I'm not the I'm not at the university right this second. Um, the church uh, through the vote of session has agreed. Uh, to move forward with the the funding part of this, like uh, raising the money to see if we can uh, we can actually get this off the ground, uh, and also using the church facilities. Uh, to make to make this happen, the the church does have quite a stake in this and in kind donations, everything from uh, power to run lights uh, to internet connections to uh, the use of some staff uh, in in positions in the collective, um, and so we have applied for grants uh, from the presbytery and the synod, our own dream grant and the IPC family, which is where you come from and we, we you come in next. Uh, Craig, we can go to the next slide. Um, so how do you help? The next slide. Um, you will see if you go to the giving page, um, I think we can fast forward, there we go. If you go to the giving page on our church's website, uh, and you click giving right there at the top, you'll see it, um, and it takes you to this page that allows you to choose uh, where you would like your financial resources to go. If you think this is a project that, that is something you would like to support and help us get off the ground, we have a tab there called the Irvington Arts Collective tab, and you can, uh, you can specify funds, um, and 
we are very excited to have a matching grant. Um, we, have, we have had somebody step up to give $5,000 toward this project and they're willing to match. And so if we can raise, if we can raise $5,000 from amongst us, then that's a $10,000 startup, uh, startup fund um, to, to begin this. And so I, I wanted to share this with you very briefly. I'm certain that you may have, you may have some questions. There will be more information coming out to you in the form of emails, newsletters, those sorts of things. And I will make my, myself available after our service today if you have specific questions that you would like to ask about the Irvington Arts Collective. We are an artistic body in so many ways, and I believe that we have the resources to, to make this happen, to bring this to fruition, and to begin uh, another focus outside these walls and inside these walls. How, how we exist as this community that is IPC, but how we reach out to the community that is Irvington and the East Side. I know you didn't come to hear me talk today because you just want to hear some music, but so I'll stop now, but I, uh, I appreciate your consideration and your thoughtfulness and your prayer for, uh, prayers for us. Uh, we will take all of those things and we greatly, greatly appreciate you and your support of this music ministry here at IPC. We couldn't do what we do without your support and we are very, very grateful. Thank you.